first shading, uh, we'll use naturally a darker version of the base color, which is this one. The base color was a mix of these two here. And we'll use this. This is jade green. A simple jade green, really. Well, I think it has become completely mixed with uh, with my ivory. So I think I'll have to put some more pure jade green right here. There. For shading, we'll use progressively this mix that is a little lighter, and then this pure thing. First, we'll use the jade green mixed with ivory, but with a lot more jade green than ivory in the mix. I don't know if I make myself quite clear. I believe it's um, earlier as a base coat we used uh, ivory with a touch of jade green, maybe 10% jade green in our ivory. Now we are using maybe 50-50 which is already quite dark. The jade green is really, uh, you know, improving the darkness of all, of all the, of our mix. And uh, we'll start by a wash that will go in the recesses here and underneath where the tentacles aren't lit by the zenithal lighting. And uh, we'll push the paint along the muscle fibers, if indeed they are muscles, and uh, not uh, unspeakable what you may call it. <laughs> For now, the, the gradient isn't exactly pure and pristine, but we'll get to it later on. Around the mouth here, there are lots of little details, lots of little bumps and uh, holes, which is perfectly fine. It suits us far better than anything else for our shading. I've overstepped over the, the teeth or the gums here, but never mind. The result is grisly anyway. We will later on highlight it or correct it if need be, but I doubt there will be any need. We'll see, depending upon what it looks like in a few moments. I've chosen to do it uh, somewhat tentacle by tentacle. It's a choice, really. Um, you could probably do it uh, this side, then the other side if you don't want to turn your miniature around a lot. It's just uh, it's all a matter of preference, really. What a lovely shade of green, really. These tentacles are quite nice, quite nice to paint. Really like that. Let's put a little bit more water in our mix and do a slight wash of the green in the recesses here so as to, well, uh, tint it. So that it will go into, into the recesses mainly. It's more of a wash and less of a glaze.
that way we can also more efficiently do a, a gradient and take into account the inevitable shadow beneath those arms this is the stuff you waste your sanity points on ah, happy little tentacles something to please the amateur of that sort of thing I guess now a bit of uh, blending and I'll do that by using my base color for the tentacles and by going over wherever it should be somewhat lighter I'm using a dilute paint so that allows me to somewhat highlight or, or blend if you will Our base color was a mix of ivory and uh, jade green, ivory from Vallejo, jade green from Vallejo, uh, except I actually used Menoth white from P3 instead of the ivory from Vallejo, but it's the same color. That means our base color and our shade are made with the same ingredients ah yes the base color is also useful to blend in these things a bit yeah. Yeah. a bit more here many people think that you know to do something gruesome you just have to splosh paint all around and ooh that's gruesome no no actually it demands a great deal of technique and blending at every sp uh, at every step because um, well it's uh, the the most terrible effect Want the, 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 the most terrible the effect you want to obtain um, the most technique you should have otherwise the effect isn't believable or or simply not well done so actually if you want to do something rather neutral or nondescript techniques are simple but if you want something particular if you want something I don't know whether it be extremely beautiful or extremely grisly you've got to you know to have a technique that is even less faulty Is that an eye or a tentacle? I wonder. I'll paint it as an eye, I don't know. After all, I think it may be an eye. Yes. Why not, after all? Now this deserves more shading and for that we'll use washes of pure jade green. Jade green from Vallejo. This is one of the colors I really love. I'll use a very fine brush for those because we're just going to do, do
do them in the in the recesses and I don't want to overstep again here around this yucky runny eye underneath here Contrary to popular belief, a nice little ivory goes very well with the jade green. Even though it's technically a yellow, a warm color. That's because the turquoise is closer, closer to, to uh, the yellow and the blue on the color circle. No, it's not actually. I'm talking absolute nonsense. Turquoise is close up to the blue. But, nonetheless, it goes ever so well with the, with the ivory. Perhaps because it's warm, I'm not entirely sure. I've never found a quite right equivalent for the jade green from Vallejo. It's not hawk turquoise. The hawk turquoise from Games Workshop is a little more blue. It's uh, not arcane blue or medium blue or meridius blue, uh, rather, from P3 because these are still more blue. <clears throat> this really is some sort of teal color. It is not, uh, not too blue. As with every skin, pretty much, pretty, uh, pretty much all monstrous, uh, skins or otherwise, it's important to pay attention to the gradients quite a lot because, uh, well, that's... <laughs> if you don't have believable skin, then your mini is pretty much out. It's less important on such a miniature where there's actually no real face, but uh, the effect, of course, would be a lot better if you really manage to to do your 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 flesh monstrous flesh very well so I'll try and and do that then as a uh, a tutorial, well, I, I would, on, on a miniature like that, I would spend perhaps uh, a few days rather than a few hours for it to be exactly right. But for the tutorial, we'll do what we can. Rather, I'll do what I can. Because, hey, you're just watching this. At the very least, I'll give you the, the gist of it, so that you can do Gribbly Cthuloid or a monstrous flesh of your own. 
and that way everybody will be happy in the best of all possible words isn't that right Pangloss I think this calls for more purple so we'll do exactly that we'll take our purple that we used for the protrusions underneath the tentacles right here and we'll do slight washes of it in gribbly places mainly on the end of the fingers here and and the hands because that's absolutely unspeakable that's ignoble that's terrifying that's unnatural that's transgressive that's exactly what we want there it will harmonize the miniature a little more as the the tone of the uh, tentacle protrusions actually I believe was feeling perhaps a little lonely being the only purple thing on this horrendous miniature it also enhances the details of the of the hands all the wrinkles and and sinews and tendons yes 